Opposition CCC says state security agents hunting down its leaders over protest threats. The Citizens Coalition for Change CCC has said state security agents are hunting down its leaders Gift Ostalo Siziba and Amos Chibaya over an address the two made at a recent court hearing. Chibaya and Siziba who were at the Harare Magistrates Court in solidarity with 78 party activists currently in custody vowed to mobilize protests against the group's prolonged detention. A total of 80 CCC activists were locked up on June 16 while holding a private meeting at the interim leader, Jameson Timbers' residence and charged with disorderly conduct and participating in an unlawful gathering. One minor is currently out of custody while Timbers' son, Sean was granted $100 US dollar bail after it was proved that he was caught in the dragnet arrest after he went to deliver a Father's Day gift. The rest of the group has been denied bail. We have received intel that the police and army intelligence are hunting for former CCC Zimbabwe Deputy Spokesperson Honorable Gift Ostalo Siziba and Hon. Amos Chibaya after their media address at Harare Magistrates Court a few days ago. The two had attended the bail ruling in solidarity with our Chief Administrator Senator Jameson Timber and the hashtag Evandale78, said CCC in a statement. The party claims that two days ago, security agents entered Siziba's parents' home in Bulawayo intending to abduct him. Two days ago, police and army intelligence officials forcibly entered Hon. Siziba's parents' Bulawayo residence, posing as family members, but were exposed as security agents. They intend to abduct, torture, detain, and seek further detention to prevent them from applying for bail. The regime is in panic mode, assuming the duo is planning a protest ahead of the upcoming SADC summit, added CCC. Police spokesperson Commissioner Paul Nyothi in an interview with New Zimbabwe. Com said the opposition should make a police report. I am not aware of the reports. If the CCC have got issues they must go and make a report, said Nyothi. Meanwhile, the government and the ruling party ZANU-PF have threatened to deal with opposition political parties planning protests during August SADC summit, saying they are ready to deal with them. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.